the mullahs recognize the impact of the mujahideen on them. By carrying out this assault, they wanted to eliminate the only effective and democratic solution for the future of Iran. For this reason, the mullahs senior officials openly praised the massacre, their representatives. Is Sweden responsible for an incident that happened thousands of kilometers away from its soil? The answer is definitely yes. First, Sweden is known for its key role in promoting human rights and democracy in the world. You, as the representatives of Swedish people, can do a lot to resolve the humanitarian issue of Ashraf. Second, because Sweden is an important member of the European Union, which has to remain committed to the sensitive situation in the Middle East, and third, because Sweden has committed itself to international treaties such as the universal principle of the uh, responsibility to protect R2P in preventing war crimes and crimes against humanity. As such, I ask on behalf of the Iranian resistance, first, the European Union, especially the Swedish government and parliament, to undertake an international initiative to guarantee the protection of Camp Ashraf by the United Nations. To this end, I emphasize the need for the UN Secretary General and the Security Council to adopt a resolution on the protection of the defenseless and besieged residents of Ashraf. Second, we demand an impartial, independent, full and transparent investigation into the April 8th massacre and insist on the appointment of a Security Council representative to conduct such an investigation. And third, we call on the Swedish government and all EU member states to recognize the Iranian people's resistance that seeks to change the religious dictatorship ruling Iran. I thank you all in advance for your efforts.